In this example, we want to find the limit of the greatest integer function as x approaches 0. Okay. So to understand what's going on here, uh, let's, uh, let's look at the graph of this particular function. Okay. So there is a video on this, uh, um, just on the greatest integer function, in case you need to uh, review that. So this is a, uh, this is a concept that was, that's introduced in pre-calc, or even at the algebra level. Okay. All right, so the greatest integer function, right, the graph of it, okay, looks like this. So if we have anything between 0 and 1, the greatest integer of that is going to be 0, okay? And the greatest integer of 0 is just 0 itself, okay? So, so we have this, okay? And then the greatest integer of 1 is just 1, it's, okay? So anything between 1 and 2, uh, the, the output for this function is going to be 1. Okay, and it continues like this, okay, and anything between negative 1 and 0 will be minus 1, and that negative 1, the value of that will be minus 1, okay. Okay, so this is enough uh, for us to analyze this limit. So because of the because of the behavior of this function, uh, we're going to need to look at the left and right hand limits. Okay, so the limit as x approaches zero from the right side. Okay, all right, that's going to be here. Okay, so as x is approaching zero from the right side, it's remains right on the x-axis, so that means it's approaching zero, okay? Okay, and the limit as x approaches zero from the left, okay, so that means it's approaching zero from this side, okay? So it's approaching, it right, stays on that, it stays on that line, okay? So it's constant, so it's going to be negative 1. Okay. Uh, so these two limits, the right-hand and left-hand limits, are not equal. So therefore, this limit, the limit as x approaches 0 for this greatest integer function does not exist. Okay.